And we are back with more Final Fantasy X-2. When we last left off, we went to the moon flow, and we bought some t uh, sold some tickets for Tobley and made ourselves a little bit of a profit. And we uh, have now paid off almost half of a walk's debt. And we're gonna take a ticket selling was a huge success. We sold all the tickets. And now we're gonna head to Guado Salam, even though it's a hot spot. I wonder what this show really is. That's a good question. What is the? Who does it think we are? Some kind of volunteer organization? <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna go to Guado Salam, even though it's a hot spot, because we got a few things we can take care of in Guado Salam now. And uh, take care of a few complete uh, percentage, a uh, few completion points. We need Syndicate Duds if you want to Chateau de Blanc. We'll just have to chase around Syndicate around Spiritha and liberate three uniforms. But we're gonna go uh, take care of a few other things first, and uh, make a way to uh, make anywhere from twenty-five thousand to a hundred thousand gil. It depends, I and mean, it's completely random, so we don't know. Uh, so we're going to talk to some of these people, and also we're going to take care of the matchmaking and the uh, public relations in Guado Salam because uh, we're here. So we're going to take care of all of that. Um, if I remember correctly, there's only like five people anyway, so let's take care of them real quick. Uh, well, actually, one of, uh, none of them are available in Chapter Two, so we don't even have to do it anyway. None of them. Are available in chapter two. <laughs> so that was easy enough. We're done. We don't. We can't even do it anyway. So. So we're gonna head off to talk to a few of these people and uh, try to make some money. I could care less about scares, but the people who do care will shell out Major Gill. Yeah. We do kind of. You shame it on the Joe J High Road. I heard the Golden Shay show. I wonder what happened to that stolen spear from Killika Temple. We well, gave it to the Youth League. Oh, for the Goons, they're off to look for a spear that's buried in the sand. So that's our next clue. So our, uh, we'll have to go. Oh, Beacon Hill Desert will be another place where we get uh, a uh, uniform at. So we got one already from the Josie Highway, which he mentioned. We got one in Beacon Hill Desert. I'm getting tired. I'm getting. I try getting it from totally, but the guy speaks another language. Yeah. Yeah. People are saying the sphere you have in the, in the league where after contains some touchy subject matter. Uh, okay. Yeah. I won't say it was that touchy, but. Go up here. And get a couple of completion points out of this. Oh, look! The dull wings! Yeah. That's us. You're not getting in here, see? Yeah, we will. But LeBlanc broke into our airship. Anything goes for the great LeBlanc. We are going to get what. Are, what we're going to get what they stole from us. That's really all that to do with, uh, to do with that, and then we're going to. Uh, we can't. I don't need. Yeah, we can't get in there. So our second uh, second uniform will be in the uh, um, 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 Beacon Hill Desert. Everybody seems to want spheres. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've already got that one. We still can't get into the uh, far from it. What about these? Forget the spear from Killica. I want to know what's in that house. Her little blonde scooter across the moon flow. I'm sure you can catch them if you head along the high road. Yeah, we've already done that. Sorry, I can't let you in. Blah, blah, blah. We can't enter the far plane still. So that's not surprising. I found him Killica too, but it took me so long that I got ready that I ended up missing all the action. Oh, too bad for you. But now we're gonna go to this innkeeper, the innkeeper. We're gonna innkeeper is at. Which is him. That's all to him. I wonder what's on the sphere from Killica. We know. Uh, that's not uh what we needed. You need to go talk to the end per the person in the inn. Which, alright, so I guess he's a little bit further down. Down here. Yeah, that's where we need to go. I missed the big spear scramble and kill it. Damn shame. Let's go down here. This is what we need to talk to. Good day, what is it you need? 
Got any data? You asked and got any data? You're in luck, my lady. I have just the thing. Quite new. Quite new. Granted, this data may be much of value to you, still there are other uses for such morsels. If you were to buy the data from me, you could sell it at an, uh, at an, uh, to another who wants it, at a substantial profit, of course. This is still at 10 gallons and gill, you got nothing to lose. And... We don't have 10 gallons and gill. I should have, uh, kept that money from the, uh, Moonflow. Shit. This is not good. So here's what we're gonna go do. We are gonna go back to the airship real quick and sell off a bunch of our stuff and try up to we can get 10,000 gil. Then we're going to, uh, go back and try to, uh, get that data. We just need to get 10,000 gil. I should have kept that money from the Joe's, uh, from the Moonflow. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll just sell off a bunch of our stuff. You get 10,000 gil back and we'll head back up to God who quad us along. We don't need you anymore, so let's sell you off. Let's sell you off. Let's sell you off. Uh, let's sell off all the high potions. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. Because we'll be getting some more stuff from Awaka anyway. So let's just get this uh, data. So back to Water Salam real quick. So it shouldn't take but a second. Let's head back to Water Salam and let's go get this data. Like I said, we can, uh, with this data, we can be able to get anywhere from 25,000 gil to 100,000 gil. It depends who wants the data, and uh, and like I said, it's completely random. You have to ask uh, for his hint. You have, to, uh, you have to get a couple of hints from him, and then you uh, pinpoint it from those two hints. And it depends who wants it, you get the gill from. Okay, let's go buy, buy this data then. Yes, yes. Buy the other uses, uh, ba 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 ba. Yes. Let's, uh, do it. Excellent. Now listen well as, uh, listen well as I tell you the person you should seek. Hit one. It was someone rather young. Yes. Surely you have some idea who, who it is I speak of, my lady? And then use the hint provided to hunt down the person in the water salon who's out for some data. Press square to trick or talk to your target to make the purchase, but be quick. No one wants old news. Then here's the, uh, second choir. Second clue. Eyes I thought very well, but pay close attention. Perhaps the person is watching to see a certain when a certain door will open. Surely you have somebody who it is I speak of, my lady. Alright, so Basically it's this person right here will be getting thirty thousand yell. It's one of these two people right here. It's this one. That data sounds juicy. Tell me, tell me. How much should I know? No, no, that there, thirty thousand yield. That should do. And we get our thirty thousand yield. Bogus bear, steer data, chold, sold, cha ching. And that's it. That's it. To do what there is to do in Water Salam. I'm gonna go double check the. Uh, Yeah, so basically, that's it you can do in Water Salam. But to get the 100,000 gil, it's really hard to get. I've never gotten it, but it's uh, the, in uh, the innkeeper himself. So now, we're done with Water Salam, so now we're going to be heading to the Dunder Plains. And there's not much to do in the Thunder Plains either, but... Uh, <coughs> We can do some stuff just for fun. It doesn't count for a completed percentage, but it's fun to do nonetheless. At least give it a shot once. Talk to this person right here. Alright, so let's get rid of this. 
Let's get rid of this gold element with some water. Left and Drake. Ooh, they, they kind of hurt. Alright, let's get rid of this lesser Drake now. So. Alright. Ooh! They kind of hurt. <laughs> no, this game! Ooh! It's actually getting pretty good. It's getting to the good part of the game. No problem. So. Get a bomb fragment and some more stuff. But yeah, that 31,000 gil would be able to pay off most of Awaka's debt. Let's see how close we are to our abilities. Uh, scatter shot time is done. Uh, let's see here. Black magic level 3, we've still got a little bit to go. And, uh,. Uh, let's see. Delay attack's getting close to, so. Alright, let's talk to this person. I've been trying to calibrate the lightning rod towers, but it's more trouble than you think. All I gotta do is push the buttons in the order shown. Still take a lot longer than expected. That's right, who knows when I'll finish. Maybe we can help. You mean it? You're a lifesaver. And basically, just examine each tower. You got any questions about the calibration or how well you've been doing? Come at it. Basically, uh, these don't these do not count towards your completed percentage, but it's fun fun little thing to do anyway. Calibrating the tower. Press the button to display to calibrate the lightning rod tower. So basically, let's see. Circle. Right, so they're not easy to do. I might I might not do all of them because they don't count towards the percentage. I can at least show you the first three to give you an idea of what all five of all three of them would be like with all uh with uh what you know Riku's towers would look like, what uh Payne's towers would look like, or what Yuna's towers would look like. Riku's is actually the easiest one. Basically you just push the button that's shown. Although right, you get some pretty good items out of it too, like I said it does not it's not required for your one hundred percent completion, which is kinda good because they do get kind of freaking hard. So. And yeah, there's 30 of You have to hit 30 times on each tower, so. And it does get faster, as you see. You can only miss three times per tower. There we go. Calibrated the tower. No. But there was something else to do in the light and the uh, thunder thunder planes. But we'll take care of that too. I, I'm, I'm just going to show off the first the, the first three towers to show you the general idea of what it would be like with everybody. Like I said, Riku's is probably the easiest with the uh, Well, all I do is just push the button, but it does get kind of hard. There we go. Mmm. There's nothing to it, though, so we'll just uh, take care of all of this real quick. There's really not much to do in the Thunder Plains either, so. And here's uh, Eunice. Three bu uh, button icons will fall down on the screen. When they reach the middle of the screen, one of the icons will flash to press that button with the score spot with the flashing icon. So you see, you'll see three icons come down. See one of them got flash. Oh, this is pain. Never mind. Basically, when you see the button flash, hit that button. So I, oops, oops I, I, meant, I hit circle instead of square. <laughs> Some of them are, uh, this one's, uh, the, uh, like I so said, they start off easy, but it does get kind of hard because they get faster sooner. They'll start adding, like, R1 buttons and R2 buttons and directional buttons and R, R3 buttons. It, it gets kind of crazy. But I'm just, I'm just showing you the first three towers to get you a general idea of what they're like. 
Uh, so this is what Pain would do. Pain's ain't really that hard either the first couple, it just gets kind of hard toward the end. Like the last couple of towers. And they get kind of fasty. There we go. Calibrated that tower. And actually, we're probably going to have to try to do all five of them for the, uh, all ten of them for the simple fact that it makes something a lot easier in chapter five. So I might go ahead and just try at least do all all ten of them, just to show it. But there, there's somebody in the background back there that we need to talk to. Quit hitting me with thunder! Quit it! Oh god, now we got a oversold gold elemental. Oh lord! Quit hitting me with the thunder! Alright, let's get rid of this thunder real quick before it starts really starting to kill me. There we go. And you're gonna learn scatter shot. Alright. I might actually do the rest of them off screen. Like, when I get to Makala or the next area of Makalani Woods, like, off screen, I might go back and calibrate the other seven towers. Or try to. At least one attempt per each tower. That way, uh, you want to see through all the towers. And then, uh, that way, because uh, if you do all ten, if try all ten towers, make something in Chapter 5 easier, so. And what, since Zuna's learned Scatter Shot, what is she learning now? Scatter Burst! Alright. Let's see. Ooh, it's Uncle Sid. Wonder how he's doing since we told him off in uh I got a good feeling about this. Sanerkin. I wanted to use that Vira on uh the Ochu. Oops. See, I told you that wasn't gonna work. Vira on the Ochu, please. Alright, get rid of this O2 before it really starts. There we go. <laughs> that kind of sucked, but oh well. Too easy. Ooh, a twist headband. Let's see what the twist headband is all about. Let's first just get rid of these uh, those and a little bit more healing up. That's what the twist headband is all about. Guards can sleep. Okay. Nah. Let's go talk to Sid. Uncle Sid, what are you doing out here? Yeah. What? Are you blind? Can't you see him trying to sulk? Yeah. Uh, come on, Uni. Let's go. But uh, leave him. Yeah. I wonder what's wrong. He was talking to me. It's Xanarchy. He pissed him off because. He's all bent out of shape because you told him off. Yep. That's mature. That's really it for that. So let's calibrate this tower just to show you what units would be like. To memorize the sequence of buttons up here on screen, press the order of buttons in that proper order. Memory phase, so basically. Circle, circle. Basically, the buttons will pop up on screen, you gotta memorize them. We got triangle circle, circle, and X, X, and square, C circle, and circle, triangle, and X, X, and triangle. X and triangle, circle, 
and circle. Triangle and triangle. X and X. X and circle and triangle. See, now it's starting to add some more. Circle, square, and square. X, square, triangle. Triangle, square, circle. Triangle, X, square. Triangle, square, circle. And it's getting faster, too. Yeah, Eunice is probably the hardest of the three because a lot of times he'll... Oops. <laughs> a lot of times he'll start doing like four or five at a time and they go really fast. Luckily, their first one's pretty easy. Triangle, X, triangle, square. There we go. And now it's going to do four. X, square, square, square. Alright. Square, square, triangle, circle. Triangle, X, square, triangle. Oh. Oops. X, X, triangle, X. I can't miss again or it's going to be... Square, X, circle, X. Square, X, circle, X. Squircle, triangle, circle, X. Circle, triangle, circle, X. X, square, triangle, X, square, circle. X, triangle, X, circle. Triangle, X, circle, X. Triangle, X, circle, X. Alright, here we go. Square, square, triangle, triangle. And the calibre calibre. But that's the, that's the three I wanted to show you off. We're going to get to the agency and save and call it a video. We'll come back, we'll finish up the thunder. I'll calibrate the rest of the towers. And... I don't really like to like fight the three elements. So we're just going to get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. So, uh, I heard that they're coming out with a Final Fantasy X-2. And, um, Final Fantasy X, what's Final Fantasy X-2? Uh, HD remake for the, uh, PS3. Alright, so luckily Riku's is really easy, so. He's give it a shot. At least, at least we can get a, the first five taken care of before we get to the travel agency. I might go ahead and show it all of them all, all on screen because one of them is kind of hard to get to. And uh, I just want to be able, uh, you need to see where some of them are at. So we'll, uh, we'll probably do all of them on screen. Now I'm thinking about it, we'll just do the first half, we get to the travel agency save, do the second half of the next video, along with Makalania Woods. Then now it's even starting to add some directional keys. Make sure it's a little bit harder. It's really not that much harder though. Oops. Circle. Uh. Alright, calibrated that tower. There we go. So we calibrated that one. We're going to get to number five since we're like right here. Please, a uh, battle. Ochu and the Fire Drake. Okay, okay. Or right, left or right. Let's go ahead and cast a nice Farago on the, on the Ochu. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that was nice. One hit kill with a fire a Faraga. And another twist headband that we can sell off for some will. Let's go ahead and calibrate this one while we're here. Alright. Basically the same thing. Watch for the glowing icon. 
Takes a little bit of eye practice, that's for sure. Yeah, that's some good peripheral vision. So. Yeah, I have some really, really good peripheral vision with me being in high school band and band for. Then now it's starting to add the L1s and. Just a little bit trickier. But yeah, I noticed it's starting to get faster earlier now. You got to have some really good vision. I noticed it's going to get even faster here, so... Ah. Calibration incomplete, so... At least we, did, at least we tried it. Don't have to give it a shot. It, that's what matters. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's get to this uh, agency so we can save, and then we'll come back to uh, finish up the rest of the tower for next video along with Makalania Woods. Yes! Come on, get out of the battles! Bring it, punk. That's fine. We'll just, uh... Do another Fraga. No! I didn't want to do that. Fraga on Yochu. Alright, let's get rid of this left to right now. There we go. It doesn't matter! Alright. Say, uh. Pearl necklace? Let's see what that pearl necklace does real quick. That guard's getting pointless. Pointless is an interesting uh, status ailment for the simple fact that this is the only one it's ever been in. Basically, it's, it's what it says it is. It's pointless. I mean, you can't change dress gears. You can't do anything. Anyway, we're going to end it here, guys. When we come back, we're going to finish up the last five. Try to attempt the last five calibration towers on the other side of the Thunder Plains. And move on to the, uh... Uh, Mothalania Woods. So, you have a good day. I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. This is DKS3A, the crazy gamer. Signing out.